Hi, uh, Hi. I'm with Amalgamated Grommets. It started out like the average 48-hour film, if there is such a thing. And it just went downhill from there. First, it was the drawing of the genre. Musical or Western? Musical or Western? Documentary, all right. In which genre did our team get? Film noir. Film noir. <laughs> this is a preview of things to come. After getting the line of dialogue, character, and prop that must be included in every film. Rita or Rick Hernandez. It was on to the three-hour brainstorming session. Calling everybody on the team who I have phone numbers for. Let's take about five minutes and just don't talk. Just write down whatever ideas occur to you in terms of, of this genre. Ooh. A Mormon detective with asthma. A guy with a boom. And a light on the end. Yeah, that's a good idea. We should do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> trench coats, and big boots, and black hair, and pale white skin because they never see the sun. And he's watching the news, and they're like, oh, they caught the they caught the culprit for the um, the, the heist of the jewel thief or whatever. The young guy stumbles backward and falls to the floor. Do we map him in black and white, and the rest of the scene is still in color? Not in a weekend, we don't. <laughs> Bursts through the door and goes, You guys, get the hell out of here. I'm taking over. Now listen, Missy. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you make it a toot? We toot. After which the writers burn the midnight oil, San Diego style. The next morning, the crack crew sprung into action. Well, maybe sprung is not the right word. I don't know how it got in its own private pouch when all the rest of the bagels just seem to be uh, assorted in sort of assorted. I think that's for the director. Assortations. The director wants his in a private the, pouch. Apparently. Private pouch? Yeah. Director's cut. Oh yeah, director's, director's cut. Director's Excellent. Pouch. I've heard of the yeah. director's cut. <laughs> this must be the But have you heard of the cut. director's pouch? Which is yeah. And then it was all about lights, camera, action. Oh, hi. How's it going? Right on schedule. And then we'll cut. Dr. Hernandez. And the award for best sock puppet goes to. Dr. Hernandez and I are very much um, a partner. So, what's your biggest challenge on this role compared to last year? Uh, remembering all my lines. <laughs> Take three. Clear. And action. You're guilty. Just stay um, cool, would you? Yes. He's going to be doing all this voiceover. He's going to be getting up. You're going to be walking around with him. Mike, guys. Oh. He's really enjoying this. I'm playing a detective in this one. It's <laughs> fabulous. Yeah, this is a great role for me. Mom. <laughs> But it's not British. Oh, it's not British. <laughs> I don't have to go in there and show you boys how us girls do it down in the farm. Okay. So, mm. so good. We're gonna try to accomplish the car scene first by finding an alley with lighting in it, parking your car in it, doing the scene with the car. Start car. Chad. Don't let him walk in the shot. And while that's happening, we're going to have another thing happening here. I've been working 12 hours, and now I'm going to act. Uh, Mike has been working all night, yeah, and most of yesterday, I and all you. night. And just like the bomb squad in the operating room, it's a game of beat the clock. Uh, we're about 45 minutes away. Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. We're in. It looks great. We were able to test everything to make sure it was running smoothly. So we are good to go. Everyone's happy with the final product and it's, uh, it looks great. It looks awesome. Our, our editor, he's, he's uh, taking a nap now that we finally got everything turned in. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't uh, do it with anyone else but these guys. So yeah, it's an awesome team.